of football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. The stadium has that feel of a genuine coliseum that could only be Rome. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. As you can see, we've already started here. Well, that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. David Silva cuts it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. And now they can launch a counter. He's found his man. Looking for goal! They just took too long getting forward. Look, if they're going to counter, it has to be pacier and much more decisive. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Silva. Monreal. The goal now would certainly liven things up. Looking to break out here. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. Dashing forward at pace. Wrestled off the ball. David. Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. The opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil nil. We're already back underway here. A tight old game so far. Can that change now? Across the field it goes. Hoists it forward. It's a long ball. And it's not hit its target. Forward it goes. And it's played forward. And it's been taken straight back.
and it's Monreal. Monreal plays it long. Gets into a dangerous position. Monreal. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Delivers across. Can get that clear. The referee's given a throw. So here comes the substitution. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. And that's been won straight back. Merino. Do they stick? or twist, caution or risk, you know, what will they rue more? I think it'd be a cautious mindset they'd regret more for me, so I'd like to see them try and go and win this. Silva. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. And there goes the final whistle. A uh, frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, this looked the most likely outcome, but we've had a, a good variety in this game. 